New information on that scare of the Alaska Airlines flight when a piece of the passenger plane came off midair. Such a frightening incident. So many of you talking about it even tonight. More than 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9 jets have now been grounded. ABC's Rena Roy is sharing what the FAA is now requiring before allowing them back into the air. New images of that door plug from Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 that flew off just 10 minutes into a flight from Portland, Oregon to Ontario, California Friday. We are emergency. We are depressurized. We do need to return back. A Portland area teacher finding the door plug in his backyard. Inspections underway on more than 170 Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes that have now been grounded around the world after this midair scare. The door plug is used to cover and seal optional emergency exits. A hole left behind the plane depressurized, oxygen masks dropping down. The plane with 179 people on board making an emergency landing in Portland. No one was seriously injured and no one was sitting in the two seats directly next to the door plug. There's this huge chunk part of the airplane is like missing. The FAA now requiring airlines to complete enhanced inspections, which include both left and right cabin door exit plugs, door components, and fasteners, before allowing those grounded planes back in the air. Experts saying the incident could have had a much different outcome if the plane had reached cruising altitude at 30,000 feet. It could have been a disastrous situation and people could have been sucked out of the airplane. The National Transportation Safety Board says when the door plug came off, the cockpit door also flew open. Investigators also looking at reports that pilots filed several reports of intermittent warning lights indicating some loss of cabin pressure on the jet. Everything is part of this investigation. We're going to uh, look more at the maintenance records, the electronic logs. We're going to talk to maintenance personnel. As their investigation continues, authorities have revealed no data can be pulled from the cockpit voice recorder because an overwrite routinely takes place two hours after a flight re-recording over that data. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.